has a little more clarity to it. It's a little more pointed. Do you hear it or no? To me, that one sounds darker and more interesting. That one sounds more stable and more clear. So something I've learned in this process is that the thick wall bassoons, so my 601, mm -hmm. is very stable mm -hmm. for better or for worse, okay. which means to make adjustments is really, really hard. Mm -hmm. And so the thin walls, ideally the thin wall is flexible in that you can make it, like when you're, when you're playing with other people, they can make those micro adjustments, yeah, yeah. right? But um, the 601 doesn't do that easily. And I really, I've noticed it, especially now, because I actually do solo playing, which mm -hmm. I've never done before. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I just really feel that inflexibility. So it's like really stable, but not. Remarkably similar. Oh, okay. Are you sure you want to play all these? Yeah. I think you should get your read out. <laughs> pick a new, pick an excerpt. Any excerpt. I'll play anything you ask. Ooh, anything. This is exciting. Let's yes. Hear it. Does it? Maybe it's projector. I don't feel like it. Okay. Let me try again. Mommy. 
Just to it because I'm like literally like trying to get vibrato. So. Your, your pitch is really flexible, which is really nice, and that feels like really accurate for a tool yeah. to have that. Because I mean, I can pull it way down. And in reality, when I did this with Billings, I had my tuner on the stand, and every time the bases came in, they were like well over 20 cents flat. Oh no! And you, and you suddenly realize, like, uh -oh. you're like, this doesn't just have to be in tune, it actually has to be flat because the bases will always be flat, uh -huh. right? So you have to be able to start that E on the flat side. Oh, that's good actually. Because you're gonna, if you're in tune, you're going to sound sharp still, mm -hmm. right? I mean, it goes, it just follows me as I want to go up and down. And right there, it was perfect. Is I think because there's a bit more clarity of um, 
sound here, it's more sensitive to the drop, right? Yeah. yeah. And those are just have a little more mm -hmm. resistance, and so it, yeah. it doesn't drop so sensitively. So that's interesting. <laughs>
the pop is really sharp all of a sudden. And like the timbre changes a little bit. It's that like kind of coarse. You know, like it sits right on the top of the note. And my 601 is the same thing. It's like one of the many things I'm done with. Very interesting. So these others, they don't have any kind of issue like that or oh no they have their own course right, okay but like not that's not that same issue with the tenor range specifically yeah. um the moose mons tenor range is really quite lovely mm -hmm. it's really really nice uh and the yamaha as well the yamaha really failed me this week i was actually like team yamaha heading out to seattle mm -hmm. And it did not do well with the trio, like the sound. Mm -hmm. My clarinet was like, you sound like a saxophone sometimes. And I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the top octave was just not responsive, like, mm. which is a big thing with my six and one. I don't have a good top octave on there. So, you know, every time I go to hit a high C, it's just like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the top octave on the Moosman is phenomenal. Like it just sings, it's so mm -hmm. beautiful. Yeah, they're, sh they're just really, really different. They're really different. I like both of them in different ways. So going to Seattle, I was like, I'm going to buy this Yamaha 821. And then when I was in Seattle, I was like, I'm going to buy this Moose Mon 150. Mm -hmm. But it's just, it's been so fascinating. It's just been really fascinating because all of these are basically in the same price range. Like a new um, 2 one's about 22000 mm -hmm. The Yamaha is like right at 20000 and then the, um, I have the 150E Deluxe, and it's right in that, like, 20-plus, somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. So they're all right in the same range, but they're just such wildly different instruments. And I really think, because they have, like, very clear places where they do well, you know, it really just depends on what kind of playing you're doing.